Angel? Angel! You know, I think we have to do something on time. If we continue like this, my poor sisters will just go for nothing. We just need to do something to save them. Jeff. I have given you the permission to do whatever you want to do. I have given you the way. Do whatever you want. So why are you still bothering asking me questions? Listen, you need to use your head. Do not do anything stupid. Else, Kizito will outsmart you and you will be the victim. I heard what happened today with Angel, making her look crazy before everyone. That is Kizito for you. So tell me now, what are we going to do? Because Angel is obviously not looking well. Mama, first of all, we have to take her to the hospital so that whatever is in her system will be flushed out. That way she will have a clear head to attack if she must. Is that all we can do? Supposing he, he comes looking for her at the hospital? And who will tell Kizito where Angel is? Mama, when I stand before Kizito, he will not be able to do anything. It's high time we stopped. Stop being scared of Kizito. He should be the one scared of everyone because he's the madman. It's okay. Let's start making preparations to take her to the hospital. Yes, I, I have made a few calls already. They will send an ambulance over to pick her. Sure. So, also, Mama, I think I need to go right now, okay? I need to meet up with some people that would help me in my aim for this I need to go, Mama. Be very careful. Else, no one will be there to fight for you. I heard you. Mama, we're back. Okay, sure. Thank you, Flora. It's okay. Thank you so much.
What is happening? Angel! Why are you yelling Angel's name? Where is Angel? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't you keep her in your room? She's not in the room. Then where is Angel? That is exactly what I'm asking you. Why would you ask me? Aren't you the one in charge of her? Are you sure she's not in this house? She's not in this house. I've checked everywhere in this house. I've checked around the whole compound. Then you better call the police. Police? What do you mean? I don't understand. Why Who police? Them? Because Angel is still under the influence of the drug you gave her. And if she has gone out in that state, she might do something that neither of us can handle. I don't care about what happens to her. I don't care about what she does to herself. It is none of my business. But the most important thing for me right now is the fact that she has scars on her body. She has scars and bruises from the last beating I gave to her. And if anyone sees that, I would be in a very big trouble. That is why I need to find her. So tell me, what's your findings like? My brother, this guy in question seems to be a scumbag. Because what I discovered is very, very alarming. He was married before. What? Yeah. He was married. And the child died. He had a child with the wife. I, I, I don't understand. What exactly are you saying? What I'm saying here is, his wife left after the child died and she went into thin air. So from my investigation, she was forced to drop the case. And my intel tells me that she accused him of the murder of the child. And he left the country immediately. So, so you mean the case was closed? Were you able to find her? I mean, she's still sex wife. Well, I found her. She now runs an NGO that fights for the protection and right of women and children. I guess that's a way of trying to help women who can fight for themselves. So you mean Kizito killed his son? Hmm, allegedly, we don't know yet. But the intel says the wife accused him of murder and he left the country after that. I, I, I need to meet with Kizito's ex-wife. I need to. Okay, she's the only one who can give us the truth of exactly what happened. That's not a problem. I will send you an address. Then you take it off from there. Your son, or you raise it on yourself for being so deceitful. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. The fact that your son was married before and he killed his son, and the fact that he is taking medications because he is not saying. Why? Why? Come close to me. 
You're a madman. You're a madman. You should be in chains and in a mental home. Yet, it's because of women like you, Mrs. Uchechi. That's why we have more mad people in this society. Judge, it is none of your business. It is none of your fucking business. You are a woman, and yet you watch another woman go through such mental torture. What was I saying? She loved this, this madman. Is that enough reason why she should go through such torture? Why didn't you tell her that he was married before? Why? It is none of your business. You hear me? It is none of your business, Judge. It is none of your business. Yes, it is none of my business, yes. But it has everything to do with Angel. Why didn't you tell her the truth? That is business between a husband and wife. Yes. No third party should be involved. Do you know we can call the police here and get you arrested? Oh yes, call the police. Call the police! And let's see who's going, who's going behind bars. Let's see who is going to prison. You want me to tell them? Yes, we'll reopen that case. We'll reopen the case. Is it the one where he murdered his son? Or is it the one where you, you, you threaten her that you're going, to, you're going to kill her if she doesn't leave the case? We'll know who's going behind bars. Rubbish! What is it? Mama, I just saw Oma with Angel right now. Though she didn't say anything, but she recognized her and there was tears in her eyes. Really? That must be a bad sign. On the contrary, Mama, that is a very good sign. It shows that she still understands emotion. I mean, looking at her sister, she felt pain. Probably because she doesn't understand what's going on around her right now. But I mean, give her time and the therapy that she needs and she'll be okay. For now, I just need to take Angel to the hospital. I only brought her here because she insisted I bring her home first. Ah, okay, can I go to the hospital with you? No, Mama. Please, stay here. Because Oma needs you here. You can send any other person with me to the hospital if you don't trust me. There is really nothing to be scared about. Okay? I just need to take her there because the ambulance is taking too much time to get here. Okay, my daughter. God will bless you. And I pray that after all these things, my children will come out victorious. Kizito. Kizito will surely pay for all his crimes. Kizito will pay. He doesn't have a choice. He must pay. Let me go get in jail. Okay, my dear. Yes, sir. I hope you understand that the dynamics of this game have changed.